Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Chapter 23, problem number 36, Gauss law. Uh, figure shows, so we have a figure. Figure shows cross, section, uh, cross sections through two large parallel non-conducting sheets. So we'll consider them infinite sheets, charged sheets, uh, non-conducting. Uh, with identical distribution of positive charge with surface charge density sigma equal 1.77 into 10 to the power minus 22 coulomb per meter square here it is in a unit vector notation what is field e at points above the sheets between them and below the sheets so this is our charge configuration we have two infinite charged sheets here this is x axis uh, this is y axis in unit vector notation we have to find out field above the sheets that is this region between the two sheets and below the two sheets i'll call this region one and between the two sheets i'll call region two and uh, below the uh, two sheets i'll call region three now uh, <coughs> we have done it many a times in previous sessions that field due to an infinitely uniformly charged sheet single sheet is sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 okay sigma divided by 2 epsilon due to a single charge uniformly charged sheet sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 sigma is known both for both of them it's same and what about the direction of this field if it is a positively charged plate sheet then field is uh, normally outward from the sheet and if it is negatively charged sheet then field is normally towards the sheet okay so magnitude and direction now we'll find out field in the three regions uh, let's consider first region one uh, in region one uh, if this is sheet one and this is sheet two field due to sheet one will be this way e1 remember normally outward from the sheet because it is positively charged then due to sheet 2 it will be same outward normally outward so it is going to be upward again uh, in the y direction so both the fields are in y direction and since sigma is same for both of them so both fields will have same magnitude sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 same is the case here for, she, uh, for region 3 remember this is region 1 this is region 2 and this is region 3 for region 3 field due to 1 will be uh, let me use this notation 1 and 2 field due to sheet 1 and field due to sheet 2 sorry for that now sheet 3 is same field due to sheet 1 will be normally away from sheet 1 normally away from sheet 1 is downward in this case so this is field due to sheet 1 and field due to sheet 2 is again normally uh, outward so in this case it is downward so this is field due to sheet 2 so these are the magnitude again same for both of them sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 so magnitude of e1 is equal to magnitude of e2 is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 okay sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 so sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 due to a single sheet both of them are having the same sigma 1.77 into 10 to the power minus 22 so uh, in these two regions i'm not talking about region 2 yet i'm talking about region 1 and region 3 both in region 1 and region 3 uh, two fields are in same directions so net field will be simply addition of the two okay net field will be simply addition of the two so i'll write that here e1 e1 that is net field in region 1 okay net field in region 1 uh, magnitude wise is equal to e3 that is net field in region 3 again sum of the two here sum of the two here so it is same and sum of the two will be sigma divided by epsilon 0 sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 plus sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 is sigma divided by epsilon 0 now we know the values uh, sigma is 1.77 into 10 to the power minus 22 uh, coulomb per meter square so that's already in si system epsilon 0 is 8.85 uh, into 10 to the power minus 12 again in si system this thing we have to work out i have already done that this comes out to be 2.00 into 10 to the power 11 okay 10 to the power 11 newton per meter uh, newton per coulomb okay newton per coulomb so this is magnitude of the field in region 1 and region 3 now i'll we have to write down it in unit vector notation now clearly direction of field in region 1 is upward that is positive direction of y axis 
सो आई राइट इट हियर ई वन इज इक्वल टू मैग्नीट्यूड इज टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो इंटू टेन टू द पॉवर इलेवन ओके टेन टू द पॉवर इलेवन पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन ऑफ वाई एक्स इज सॉल यूज जे यूनिट वैक्टर और मे बी यू आर यूज ऑफ यूजिंग वाई यूनिट वैक्टर इज द सेम थिंग इट्स इन पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन सो प्लस मे बी to be more explicit so plus 2.00 into 10 to the power 11 joules uh, minus 11 it is sorry minus 11 here it is minus 11 here is minus 11 minus 11 joules uh, minus 11 newton per coulomb in j direction in positive y direction and this one in region 3 feel is directed downward so that is negative direction of y axis So feel is minus two point zero zero into ten to the power minus eleven newton per coulomb j unit vector in the negative direction of y axis. Okay, in the negative direction. So magnitude wise they are same and uh, uh, direction wise they are in opposite directions. So we have feel in this part of the region two point zero zero into ten to the power minus eleven in positive direction of y axis and here in this region minus two point zero zero into ten to the power minus eleven j which is uh, we simply minus sign simply means negative direction of y axis then we are left with region two okay we are left with region two field in region two let's first draw the directions okay let's first draw the directions due to plate one this is plate one and this is plate two field due to plate one is this way normally outward from the plate okay normally outward from the plate field due to 2 is this way again normally outward from plate 2 okay so field due to plate 1 is downward and field due to plate 2 is upward they are in opposite direction remember their magnitudes are same sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 remember e1 magnitude is same as e2 magnitude and which is sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0 so magnitude wise they are same direction wise they are uh, in opposite directions so net field will be simply zero they'll cancel out so net field in region 2 net field in region 2 is zero so we have field in region 1 and region 3 uh, and in between the two plates net field is zero so 1 and 2 we have already done 1 and 3 we have already done and region 2 is zero field in region 2 is zero fine so that's what we were asked to find out that'll do for this session